This is Jonathan Levy, Director of Design for the Dearborn 6-12 through STEM Academy for the City of Boston. I'm excited to share with you some of the ideas that went into the design of this new school, the first built in Boston in some 14 years. It is one of the very first of its type in the nation. There were many contributors, faculty, administration, central administration, parents, and community members. The latter, who, in many ways, initiated and stewarded their neighborhood-based school. These included the students themselves, whose competitive design thinking project for bike racks was included in the built design. What you're looking at now is an aerial view, showing the way the building's articulated shape fits into the neighborhood. This is a critical part of the Dearborn's new approach to education, its ability to reach out and fit into its many community, business, and academic partners. Its bay windows, which we called world windows, like those of the typical Boston residential buildings which surround it, extend out to and engage the city. Along one of its two street fronts, there's a glass base, which functions like a storefront, showing what goes on inside. On the other front, which you see here, the science classrooms are clearly expressed, along with the individuality of each classroom. Outdoor fab lab and maker space project areas are prominently visible from the main building entrance to show entering students what's going on. The south and sun-facing main entrance at the second of the building's four floors opens out like a welcoming arm to the students. The main space of the new school is the Learning Commons Atrium, with its cafeteria opening out onto a broad terrace, which includes artifacts taken from the old Dearborn School. This atrium is surrounded by all the academic spaces, in effect, eliminating corridors and unseen places and opening the entire school to itself so that students, teachers, and administration can see and be mutually inspired by all the great things going on. Off of the atrium, at the ground floor, there are many different common spaces, including health alternatives such as dance, studio, physical exercise, music, art, fabrication lab, and maker spaces. As you can see in the plan view, unlike many schools, the gymnasium at the Dearborn is embedded right in the center of school life, with large windows opening into it from the various balconies of the upper levels of the school. STEM, or STEAM, education is about so much more than the special academic subjects it addresses. It is about the students inspiring other students to achieve. So even the teacher offices are in glass-enclosed spaces which are highly visible to the entire school population. Since it is where students spend much of their day, a large part of the design emphasis is on the detailed design of the typical classroom learning environment, which has very tall ceilings in order to allow full daylighting. Every surface is a teaching surface, even the storage cabinets. For decades of service, the walls are armored, with painted drywall kept to a bare minimum. The center of the facades of the building on each street are transparent science exploratories, seen here from both the exterior and interiors with their glass walls so that much that goes on inside can be displayed to the entire school community. The Learning Commons also includes a series of satellite resources which are called cohort commons for each grade configuration. Here you can see one cohort commons with its project-based learning work area overlooking the atrium and its communal office suite with cohort administration, conference areas, workspaces for teachers, and places for families to come and learn about the school. Finally, the building is a kind of teacher in its own right, displaying its technology, its structure, its air distribution, its mechanicals, and importantly, its craft in ways that will prompt student questions and speculation, all orchestrated and washed in an ever-changing symphony of nature's light. This is truly a new kind of school, as different from a traditional school as a library is from a courthouse, a neighborhood school for the future, built for the students and aspiring communities of today.